a team. What's up guys, and uh, that was probably really loud, sorry, but today I have some Destiny gameplay for you guys, and uh, this is on the 360 by the way, um, see if, I would have got it for the Xbox One, but I definitely didn't think I was going to like it, and I'm going to talk about my thoughts, and uh, my first impressions, and um, you know, what I actually initially thought of the game, so we're going to start off with um, this right here, I play xbox you guys know that i just said you know this game is on the xbox 360 i have it for 360 but uh i um don't play halo very i haven't played halo very much uh actually i'm not a big fan of halo um people a lot of people say this is like a mix between halo and um borderlands i didn't like borderlands either so uh i really did not think i was gonna like this game so i'm just gonna throw that out there just so you guys know that right now so what I'm gonna tell you guys is I absolutely love this game um, I have been playing it for about four or five days now uh, pretty much non-stop I mean I go to school come home and just play it it's so fun uh, that's coming from somebody that hasn't played that didn't like Halo and did not like Borderlands which is a lot of what people said this game was mixed between and um, so there is some flaws with the game of course but um, overall this game is really really good it's super um, super polished super uh, it's not really clunky there's no um, really weird overpowered stuff some of the special abilities like uh, there's a class called the Titan which he jumps up in the air and he smashes his fist down you know if you jump into a big group of people on PvP which is what I'm playing here this is um, some multiplayer gameplay but um, if you jump into a big group of people, you know, that's like easy four or five kills right there. It's a one-hit kill. So some of them can be a little, you know, if you do get a pe group of people together, which is usually not that uh, easy because a lot of people spread out in the beginning of the game. Um, so let's talk about the story mode now. Um, well, the story mode is kind of short. It's uh, me and couple friends beat it um, I would say about eight hours maybe maybe a little longer than that but it's not that long um, I definitely didn't think it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be a little longer than that but it's not um, the there's three different classes there's a Titan there's a hunter and there's a warlock uh, a lot of people say that the warlock is overpowered I actually have my I start off as the hunter class which is what you guys are seeing gameplay of right here um, you guys will see the special ability a few, maybe once or twice, I don't remember. But um, pretty much he, there's a, uh, he brings out a golden gun, and uh, that's his special ability. It's super uh, good gun. It bring, uh, you, you get three shots with it, and uh, it's pretty much it's a one-hit kill anywhere you hit him. So um, my favorite thing um, about this game is um, the... Uh, you have to really grind for what you want if you want really good weapons you're gonna have to play a long time if you want you, you know you want your, your your person to be upgraded of course you know you want him to get all of his skills up you're gonna have to play a lot you're gonna have to grind you're gonna have to go and get XP you're gonna have to go and do the bounty you're gonna have to go and you know this guy this character that I am currently uh, is level 21 but there's a thing uh, you can go up to level 20 and then that's max level after that you have to get this stuff called light which then furthers you uh, furthers your progression in this character that I'm currently using is almost f his class the class that he has that I'm using there's two different classes for each class so there's a there's a Titan warlock and hunter and they all they all have their one class that they start with and then at level 15 you unlock their other class and once you start a character and you get to level 15 no matter what character you use you will have the other their other subclass already unlocked um, so that's pretty cool now they have two different classes that you can use and uh, the one that I like a little more than the other this class has two that's called the gunslinger and then there's other classes called a blade dancer and uh, the blade dancer is just pretty much about melee his, um, his special ability is a melee uh, everything about it is just a melee uh, it's pretty cool I like that one but uh, for PvP I found that using a weapon is a lot better than or using the, the the knife I mean is a lot better see there's the um 
that's the special ability for this class right here. I absolutely fail with it. I'm getting shot from behind. I'm getting shot from here. I'm getting grenades thrown at me. I didn't know what to do, so they end up killing me with the special ability. So that kind of sucks, uh, unfortunately. But uh, this is definitely a great game. You guys should definitely go get it. Uh, there's uh, there's primary weapons. There's special weapons, and then there's heavy weapons. Like as you guys can see, a little bit of, like a little bit ago, there was something called a uh, special weapon ammo. Yeah, that you have to go pick up ammo off the ground. You can't. You don't actually. You know, it's not perks. You know, it's not Call of Duty or anything like that. So, um, so the special weapons consist of shotguns, um, fusion rifles, uh, sniper rifles, and I think that's all of them. I want to say. Then you got primary weapons, which there's a hand cannon, which is pretty much like the uh, the super ability. There, you get a pistol. It's a pistol. But it's not as powerful, of course. I mean, it's a primary weapon. Then you got pulse rifles, which is three-round burst guns, which is uh, usually what I use. But right here, I'm using a auto rifle, which is a fully automatic rifle. Then there's something called a scout rifle, which is semi-automatic, which is um, you know single fire shot. Um, all there's then there's um, normal weapons, which are they're white weapons when you go into the main menu or when you pause and then you pick what gun you want there's a white guns which is just you know they're normal guns you know those are just they're not super upgrade you can't upgrade them then they're not super good then you got uncommon guns which you can upgrade and then those ones are you know pretty decent you usually get those around i'd say around like level you get them around level eight to like maybe 14 or 15 16 those are pretty decent and then after that you get rare weapons which uh is you know a little more a little un a little more uncommon than uh you know it's they're a little they're not entirely hard to find uh just play pvp which is called the crucible actually but you play pvp i actually got the gun that you're currently seeing right there the the auto rifle i got that from playing pvp i have a after this game you guys don't actually get to see it but after this game i got a legendary helmet which is uh, I think it's like one under which is the best thing you can get. I'm pretty sure it goes just the normal guns Then it goes uncommon rare legendary and then exotic um, I Don't quote me on that that might be wrong. It may go exotic legendary, but I'm pretty sure it goes legendary exotic um, Of course exotic being the best, but I do have a legendary headpiece um, The whole I'm wearing uh, my body the headpiece is legendary well now the gameplay that you're watching, he actually he has a red hair, a rare headpiece on, rare chest piece, uh, rare gauntlets, and rare uh, leggings. And then the gun, the shotgun that you're seeing is rare. The gun right there that you're seeing, the fully automatic gun right there is rare. Then the, uh, I don't think I pull up my heavy weapon, but I'm pretty sure that's rare too. Uh, so pretty much I got a full rare thing going on with the legendary helmet now that I got after this game. So, um... Would I recommend this game? Absolutely, this game is very, very fun, especially if you have friends that like to play. Um, I'm pretty sure it would probably be a better. This guy's gonna rape me because that was that's the um that's the special ability for the hunter, the gun. He shot me one time and I was done. But um, the special ability for or the special ability fail. The uh, would I recommend this game? Absolutely, um, it's really fun. Uh, especially if you have friends that like to play with you definitely play with them it's so much more fun when you have somebody there to play with you and uh, too bad my gun ran out right there I thought that guy was gonna kill me but I just kept shooting and he died so my final thoughts I want to tell you guys is uh, very good game very polished very uh, good system the only thing that I don't really like is the fact that you can play campaign stories over and or missions over and over again and get better weapons so by the time you go and play Crucible, you know, you might have somebody that's a higher level than you and have better weapons. So this video's coming to an end. Thanks for watching, guys. Get this game. It's really fun. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Peace.